Lila Syrah. Um, this video is not quite a part two to my Urban Outfitters haul because I only did like three pairs of shoes. So I'm not sure if you really call that a haul. Uh, but anyway, this one is like more so about my closet because I'm coming to you from the floor of my closet. Um, I'm still trying to figure out like a good place to shoot now for like a change of scenery. So for now we'll be in here because we're talking about shoes. So basically... Um, for the most part, I keep all of my shoes in their boxes. I feel like they stay, you know, nicer that way. And then I get to like kind of look at all the shoes that I have, which makes me excited when, you know, you can look and you have some choices. Sometimes what may happen is like a shoe box might get like torn or ripped or uh, left somewhere. Or maybe it was a pair of shoes that didn't have a box when I bought them or whatever the case may be. Or maybe I just decided I don't want to keep them in a box anymore. So I have this joke, running joke with my sister because she's a shoe hag. I don't want to call her or shoe whore. <laughs> she loves her shoes. Um, she'll buy shoes over pretty much anything. And I mean, you could go to her house and she's like rotated the shoes that she's had. She might even have them for like a month. You go to her house and she might offer you a pair of shoes. So I always like to get there before my friends because we're like pretty much in the same circle. And we almost all wear the same size shoes. So she might give away a pair that you've had your eye on when she first bought them. So it's like, go check her closet out and see if she's giving anything away. So that's my little trick. But anyway, what I do is I joke with her and I say, oh, so the shoes at the bottom of her closet without boxes are like the shoes that she doesn't respect anymore because she doesn't keep them in a box, but she still loves them enough to keep them. So I kind of have the same thing going on. Um, my pile of shoes that aren't in a box are really not that big. It's not huge, but it's huge enough to where I'm tired of just having like a junky closet at the bottom of just random shoes. So what I decided to do is to buy a shoe like organizer. I got it from Target. I'm going to show you guys like the little box, picture of the box. Okay. Got it from Target. It looks way bigger on the box than what it was because my husband put it together and I got home and I saw it and I was kind of like, oh, so this is it. It's kind of tiny, but we're going to see if we can make it work. I'm hoping this time that I can keep my closet a little more organized. I have to admit, sometimes when I'm in a rush, I just kind of throw things back on the hanger. And, like, I'll go through and organize my closet. And I'll have, like, all the pants together, all the skirts, all the dresses. And then I don't really get as meticulous with, like, colors. But I will do, like, um, sleeve length and things like that and put all of my jackets together. And then try to put, like, the jackets that I'm currently wearing. And then, like, say, like, right now it's summer, so I'm wearing more sweaters than jackets. So what I'll do is I'll, like, put all my coats and, like, heavier jackets towards the back and sweaters and things like that towards the front. But sometimes I get a little lazy and then my closet looks like somebody threw up in there. So let's see if I can do a better job. So my first order of business is to clean up the shoes that are just randomly um, in the closet. So I'm going to show you guys what those look like. Um, I got rid of um, a good amount of those shoes because I realized I don't look at them that much. And then I end up not wearing them and then I'm like, okay. I don't really need these so I'm going to show you the shoes and I'll be back. Okay so this is my corner of shame of just shoes well not those brown ones right there those have a box but my rain boots and then I have a pair of boots I just can't let go. They're like the brown ones that are like right in there. And other flip-flops and all those things. So let's try and organize them. And hopefully you guys um, will see what I can do. Shoot. Actually, I'm hoping to show myself what I can do. So give me just a sec. And I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so... Okay, so this is my finished product of my shoe organizer. Now, I have, like, all my other shoes, and it goes, like, to the other side, too. Shoe boxes up there, the ones that I still love. Not to say I don't love these, but you know what I'm saying. So, this is the organizer that I got from Target. 
it fits 15 shoes but as you can see like the heels are having a hard time going in there um like taller heels like these are like a pair of um jessica simpson like pumps and they are kind of tall so they're having like a harder time fitting in there so yeah i'll fix that in a minute <laughs> but anyway and then there's my sock monkey slippers who doesn't love the sock monkey i love him um and then what i did were with boots because obviously they're not going to fit inside of the um cubby holes what i did is i just stuffed it with some um pa some paper so that they could kind of stand up like i love these boots i've had them for many many years and like on the inside of the sole it's like broken or something so like when i walk oops they all fell down when i walk they do something strange so i haven't worn them i bought a pair of brown boots uh, to replace them but there is no replacing them and i'm determined to find a place that's willing to fix them for me i just can't believe that they're dead for real um.